Joining us on JBS Canada Bandits TV is goaltender Ethan Barwick. Uh, congratulations, Ethan, on uh, the great news we got over the, the break between the series here between Okotoks and Spruce Grove that you committed to Lindenwood. Uh, let's go through how that all came about. Uh, you know, when did those discussions start and, and how happy were you to finally uh, have the, the commitment? Uh, it was really awesome, honestly. I uh, got the text from Coach Jason Power on the Monday after Game 2. And he was just saying, like, hey, would you be able to have a Zoom call sometime this week regarding your future with the Lindenwood Lions? I'm like, yeah, for sure. And um, we talked, and then he said we would like to schedule a meeting with all the coaches and all that and uh, go from there. And then I think it was the Thursday around 10.30, we had the Zoom call when I got the offer from them. And, I mean... A day after, it was kind of a no-brainer to take the offer. So, how cool is it? Uh, a new NCAA Division One program that you're going to be a part of and help build uh, from from the ground up. Uh, it's really exciting, honestly. Just getting the opportunity that I have to go in there, play my game, and play as much as I can, knowing that like everything is just brand new. What was it like uh, sharing that moment uh, with your, with your family, friends, teammates when the news came out? Oh, I, it was awesome. Like, no, I've never really had anything like this happen before. So just getting the offer, it was just so surreal and really nice for me and my parents to hear. Awesome. So uh, great playoffs that you guys are having right now. It's been a weird playoff in the sense that there hasn't been a lot of hockey. Sweeping Canmore, sweeping Okotoks, a lot of days in between as you get ready for this final against Spruce Grove. From the players' perspective, what's that been like, Ethan, making sure that you guys are staying focused on the ultimate goal here? No, I mean, it's always nice to sweep the series. You uh, get the extra rest to uh, be ready for the next one, have everyone if they're not already at 100%, just get right back up to 100%. And it's something that we are taking very good advantage of right now, uh, taking our time in the gym, being ready to stay mobile and all that stuff for the next series. I mean, you see the game happening in front of you uh, better than any of us. So uh, what have you noticed about the way that, specifically in that Okotoks series, uh, the way the team played in front of you that made your job easier? Uh, it, was, it was really nice to switch over from the regular season. Um, not saying that we didn't have it throughout the whole year, but we had a lot more of a killer instinct on uh, lots of rushes that they had. And being able to cut them off with their chances as much as we can, it just made it really easy seeing shots all the way through and stuff like that. It's been a while since uh, we faced the Spruce Grove Saints, but uh, a highly anticipated matchup here in the league final. How excited are you for the series, and what do you think the big challenge will be uh, for the Bandits in this series? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited, like the rest of the team. Like They're a really good team. They play a lot like we do, so it's going to be a good challenge for us, and we'll see how it goes. Ethan, uh, congratulations on the commitment to Lindenwood. Awesome news, but... Uh, Really looking forward to this league final and seeing what happens, but uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Ethan Barwick joining us on JBS Canada Bad It's TV.